why PERT, why AI, why today, why this work, why this webinar. So three unmet needs that really stand out when we look at how artificial intelligence can immediately make an impact are the rates of PERT consultation. So this is awareness, this is communication, this is how are these cases prioritized from the imaging and radiology workflow and how do they make their way to PERTs that are on the floor? How do findings in the emergency department find their way to the ICU? How do, how do these channels of communication get established? It's a consultation problem. Intermediate to high-risk PE patients frequently don't receive a consultation is problem one. Um, benefit two is that when these communication channels are established and decisions can be expedited with confidence, a reduction in length of stay has been observed in multiple clinical settings. This will be Dr. Zaiden's focus at UTMB, talking about how they've achieved a multi-day reduction in length of stay. And then obviously, as the, as the time is ticking, there's a reduction in the risk of mortality for every hour earlier than a diagnosis for an immediate, intermediate to high-risk pulmonary embolism patient occurs, so time is of the essence. What does this look like? Um, from a physician's perspective that is using AI on a mobile phone to receive alerts, the workflow looks like this. There is an alert that says suspected PE findings with information about which institution it was at, what type of pathology, in this case it was PERT, but ADOC offers other algorithms that could also show up in an alert. So there's an alert that says there's an intermediate to high risk PE. Physicians that, and care teams that are using the app can then see the imaging. They see the key slice where artificial intelligence has found a suspected PE. They're presented with an automated RV-LV ratio, which is a measure of right heart strain, automatically calculated and presented within the workflow. ADOC is fully integrated into the EMR. So all of, in addition to the imaging context, all of the imaging, all of the labs and vitals necessary to make a determination about case complexity and therapy selection are also available in the app. And then finally, all of this is brought together with the chat where all of the PERT team at an institution um, and across Hub and Spoke can discuss what they see on imaging, what they see in the EMR, and then expedite treatment decisions. Mm -hmm.